Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And I think I've gone completely insane because this is On Edge by Angelo Carbone. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Do check out Steve Faulkner's Online Magic, which is onlinemagic.co, my membership site where I've practiced for years and share everything I've practiced with you so you can do the same. Sorry, I don't usually say that about practicing for years. Don't know what that means, but um, because I've been practicing all day uh, doing this. And uh, as I said, I've become slightly on edge and I'm slightly on edge, funnily enough. But check out onlinemagic.co. That's a lifetime of work. Everything I learn and I'm learning, I share with you when I get permission, of course, which is 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, all my card stuff, coins, elastic band course we've just put on there, uh, I've just put on there, coin magic, rope magic, everything in live sessions. We had a great live sessions last night. My friend Peter Wardell came as a surprise and we had a really good jam there because that's what it is, isn't it, a jam when you do that? Uh, but have a look at that, onlinemagic.co, 155 live sessions uploaded now with loads of special guests and 800 plus other videos of all that other stuff. Right, do that, it's pathetic for 9.99 a month that's pathetic money for what you get so do it and the podcast of course steve, called steve faulkner's magic show do please give that a search wherever you get your podcast the links will be below the feedback i've had for all the episodes has been brilliant uh, especially john archer it was such a stunning uh couple of hours of my life so do check out that they've all been just lovely tina leonard uh, actually i'm not gonna list them all because i'll forget one of them and then feel bad uh, and some corkers coming up. Very much looking forward to that. That's it in it. And like and subscribe. Instagram at Steve Faulkner at Real Magic Review. Right. So, finally, I got this. And, you know, we've had Demi Deck, which I loved. And uh, this, I, I saw Angelo do this online a long time ago and just thought it was lovely. He hadn't released it. I didn't know he was going to release it. And I just thought it was so magical. I didn't know what this was. I knew he was coming out with something else. And I did my usual thing of going, nope. I'm not going to just, if I get it, great. If I don't, great. And then I, one arrived, and as soon as I saw the picture on the front, I went, ooh, that's exciting. And it is exciting, but <laughs> it's, it's been a process. Let me tell you all about that. So I watched the uh, download, had a little play with it last night, and I thought, right, today I'll set it all up. I'll give it a couple of hours. I don't need to do it perfectly. Get a bit of footage and do the review then i'll have a good idea of how it feels to put together and, and perform and then that was i thought i was going to get that done by half 10 this morning it is now quarter to seven quarter to six in the evening i've done nothing else and i just got the the perform the footage that i want it's not perfect but it's i, I did it <laughs> so what this is well you'll see what it is i'll put it on here and, and you'll you'll see my my failures and and success in it it's a house of cards that you build and then you pull bits out of it it becomes an impossible house of cards right it looks amazing it's brilliant obviously um it reminded me of lo well, loads of stuff but joshua j's balance is like a big version of it it's an impossible balance and stasis the other brothers all that sort of thing. there's loads of stuff in the past with this in loads of books so uh, don't get cross if i've forgotten someone that wrote something in 1948 using cat gut um but and when I and, and so and when I looked at it, I thought, right, this is really doable. I was worried it wouldn't be, and I was worried it would be a little bit infuriating. I thought, nope, this is good. So I got to work this morning, had a play with it, learned how to do it, and then went on to stage two. So what you get, this is really important, and I'm so glad, I'm so glad that they did this. You get it ready to go to practice. You can practice this straight away. There's a little bit of a setup. It's very intuitive. It's all numerical. You'll be able to work out the setup very quickly. A hint to me, and I did this before uh, Javier uh, said it at the end of the download. He says, oh, I marked the cards up. There's a way of marking this that will make it a lot better. You need a blue Sharpie and a uh, red Sharpie. And anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, once you've watched it all, get in touch, leave a comment. Uh, on, and on the Facebook page. So I set it all up, play with it, really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the feeling you get when it happens. It, it's just a, a great thing. And you get a practice set. Now, this is the important bit I was talking about. So you get a set to practice with, which is not with the stuff that you 
use it when you practice it properly. IT, right? Let's say that. You can say that, can't you? So you get a non-IT and you get to practice it. It's so important. If they hadn't done that, I think this would have been a nightmare. Not that it hasn't been, but it maybe in a good way. So you get practice it and, and it's, yeah, slightly, you know, you can't quite get it. And then there's so many little touches that Angelo, I know he's been working on this for a long time. He's not one of those people that says, I've been working on this for years and hasn't. I know he has. You can tell he has. The, the thought that's gone into this to make it possible for humans is great. So it all seems doable. And then you go, right, now you need to do a little bit of arts and crafts. When you first do that, it's slightly frustrating, but very quickly. I'm a clumsy idiot. And very quickly, I got the hang of it. And I haven't done much work with that stuff at all. So it, it's good for me to kind of get a feel for it. So that's all right. Again, a little bit clumsy, a little bit all over the place, but not that long. And you get into what you've got to do. And then there's a bit of a steep learning curve from the practice one. And uh, sorry, there's noise outside. The window's open. It's boiling. Forgive me. There's a big learning curve between that bit and getting into the real stuff. And I think he actually says uh, you graduated onto real stuff and it does feel like you've just done a three year degree in something very complex, not complex, but frustrating. So what happens is the process, you start doing it and you go, oh, this is a bit different, isn't it? But you know what to do. But within that process, there is going to be breakages. And what happens is you go, oh, no, I didn't think that was going to happen. And then on the 10th time, you go, oh, there we go again which is fine, but it, you just have to know that that's okay, that's part of the process. And the reason is that when certain things collapse, when you're not sure of, that, when you haven't practiced and you're not sure of tensions and things like that, you will, you will break that. And that's fine because it's very easy to, and, you, and it becomes super quick in the end, you sort of get it and that. Then when you go, what happens is you go, I, I'm not going to say you, because many of you won't. I went through this, luckily I had some spare stuff because I ran out. And we'll talk about that in a minute. I went through this thing of, right, I'm getting it now, I'm getting it. And the feeling I got when I started really understanding the trick, and that is important with so much in magic. Yes, you can do it, but once you really understand why things are happening, how you've got to place things, and if you do this, do that, that's when it all comes together. So there is work involved. For me, it's utterly joyful and really frustrating but that's kind of what I thrive off. And I think a lot of us do. It's the same as learning a coin vanish. You've only got to do that. So why isn't it working? Why does it look stupid? Why is it taking so long? And then all of a sudden it comes together and you think, I deserve this feeling of, of, of achievement that I've got from this. And that's what magicians are, right? We're magicians. We're not just normal people that know a couple of tricks. This is for magicians. So you go through that and you go, and then it just starts feeling really, really exciting. And I, that feeling of taking that last card out, when you understand what's going on, taking that last card out and just going, oh, that, it's such a beautiful thing. So, not without problems. So you've got an amazing piece of magic. You've got something that's, for me and many of us, enjoyable to learn, but really frustrating. And you've got something that's unique. And it's nostalgic. We all remember being kids trying to build the house of cards and it being so difficult to do. So it's okay that it takes time and a bit collapses and you put it back. You know, all that stuff is all part of it. So I think it's one of those things that when people watch you do, it's got inbuilt suspense. You know, if you watch someone doing that, right, I'm going to try this, you're not going to be able to take your eyes off them until they've done it, unless they take about three hours, like it sometimes felt like I was doing today. But it's a really exciting thing to do. And th then you can sell it as that. I'm, you know, I get really nervous when I do this in front of an audience, so I'm just testing myself. When you do it, big round of applause, and then you do that, that thing. It's, it's so beautiful. But the problems are, as I've said, it's going to be frustrating. You're going to break stuff. They give you spare stuff, but they don't give you enough of it if you're an idiot like me. I just, I churn through that. Now, he does say you can use two if you want, and that did help a lot, actually, but I just, I, I would have liked more of that. But saying that, the fact they've done the practice bit, they've done above and beyond, these are clearly put together by hand, they're not farmed off, these, are, these have to be thought about when they're made up, and they all come as, as they should. The great thing about this, this practice bit is you can then use it as a spare set, and what happened by the end of the day today is that I wasn't, there were no breaks, I just learned the thing, and that's, that's really going to help. 
so that's the only issue really obviously it doesn't fit into many situations i know that there are people um i think tom brace has been performed it in his show it is something you can definitely perform in a show and i felt that with balance as well a lot of people said things about i thought that was a great thing as well beautiful thing lovely thing about this one which you couldn't do with balance is you can you sort of it falls apart at the end and then you can kind of mush the cards up and that's a really lovely touch it's like this kind of it, it really finishes it and it's completely made for there's loads of story stuff you can do with there's a metaphor analogies with building stuff up balance all that kind of stuff i think i'd go angelo's way really of of kind of just sticking some music on and doing it or saying to people you know creating that tension that you don't even know you're going to manage and you got that little bit where it kind of nearly collapses great excuse me other than that, there's, there's another way you there's another situation you can leave it in which is similar. That's just a preference thing. There's loads of tips, everything you need. Uh, thank you, Javier, for not spending three hours on it. I think it's a quite a long download, but it is needed. He does go for all that stuff, all the hints and tips. You know, you can't do this without putting the work in. And he's clearly put the work in, and that's why you know you're not learning this from somebody who's played with it for five minutes. So the Facebook group is going to be invaluable as it is with Demi Deck, people, hints and tips, there's gonna be loads of stuff to do with this. You are gonna get some of that IT. You're gonna to have to need some uh, invisible scotch tape, or now they call it clever tape, the tape stuff. Have some of that on you if you're getting this, a couple of quid. Uh, you're gonna need a pair of scissors and that's it. I loved it. It drove me absolutely nuts. I was meant to be at home an hour ago having dinner with my girlfriend because she hasn't got the kids for the first time in so long and I'm still here at six o'clock and I'm going to be editing till seven, 7.30, but I have a big smile on my face and when I'm in flow like that, learning it, putting it together and doing it, and, and I could just sit here all night. I genuinely couldn't just do it again and again and get it smoother and smoother. So for those of you that don't want to work at anything, not for you, but to be honest, you probably don't deserve it. For those of you that want to put the work in, you're going to have something that's beautiful, original is from the mind and i don't say this lightly he's a bit of a genius isn't he i don't really know the real meaning of it because i think we overuse it but angelo is someone that he doesn't churn stuff out yes he's had a few releases recently but that's stuff that's been in his head for a long long time he's found a way to release it and i think in the right hands this is a great thing in the wrong hands it's going to end up out the window like it nearly did today right <sighs> thanks very much Murphy's for sending this to me. Thank you for making it, Angelo. Keep making good stuff. Don't rush stuff out. Don't become one of them because you are a bit of a treasure, I reckon. And I ain't selling this. Will I perform it? I don't know. Will I do it? I definitely will. Will I play with it more? Absolutely. And it's got me excited about other things that use a similar thing. Let me just check. I haven't forgotten anything because I know people go, oh, you didn't mention this. Hang on. Yeah, right. Yeah, they do. Nah, that's boring. I'm not going to say that. Right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Go and have a look at onlinemagic.co. Talking about years of work. Have a look at that. Uh, please have a look at it. Even if you're not interested, have a look at it. Have a look at the Trustpilot reviews. It'll just help bang it up, Google, won't it? And um, certainly iffy. And uh, do have a look at the podcast. Listen to the podcast. Don't just look at it. Leave a comment. I'll keep asking you. Nobody's leaving reviews. It takes two minutes. It'll make my life better. So uh, have a look at that all that stuff that I spend my life doing that makes no money. <laughs> and, uh, uh, have a nice Christmas if I don't see you before that. I don't know whether I'm going to have a chance to do another one. I'm off to the Maldives and I'll, I'll be in touch from there, definitely, to justify dragging all my camera and stuff out. See you later, everybody. Happy Christmas and uh, take care. Bye-bye.